the trial of uh, the sex assault trial of Jan Gameshi is now over all but the judge's decision. He uh, will give that on March the 24th. It's the next uh, regularly scheduled court appearance for Mr. Gameshi in any case. So what we heard this morning were the closing arguments uh, from the Crown first and then from both of Mr. Uh, Gameshi's defence lawyers, Daniel Robitaille and uh, Marie Hannon. And I have to tell you, for the first time since this, not the only time actually, but the, the most important time that it has been a good day to be a, a woman in that courtroom. This is a sex assault trial and I don't mean when I say that, that there's been anything salacious or embarrassing for the alleged victims in this case. It, it wasn't that kind of a trial. It, it wasn't about people's sexual conduct or anything like that. But what it was about in the end were three complainants um, who were duplicitous in their conduct with police and prosecutors, who misled them, kept things from them, weren't truthful, and in the result, uh, and this is what Marie Hennen said in her part of the closing, in the result, essentially almost turned the court process and the courtroom into a game of chicken. And she gave a very ringing uh, denunciation of that and a, and a sort of call to the strength and the beauty of the trial, of the criminal trial process where every witness in every case, not just women in sexual assault cases, are properly subjected to vigorous cross-examination because that is how you get at the truth. In this particular case, as Ms. Hennon said, if she had not, and her team, had not been able to independently get some of the evidence they got because it wasn't disclosed, they never would have got at the truth. The truth, this is a truth-finding process, and the truth was hidden until faced with the sort of revelations that kept coming in court and the growing knowledge that these complainants had something to fear, really, because they hadn't been truthful. There were these late disclosures, etc. The truth was not going to be told, Hennon said, if we didn't have that independently gettable evidence and it I thought I think it was just a wonderful day I was very proud to be a dame in that courtroom I think a couple of us felt that way I even had my eyes filling with tears you know she said a couple of great things but she said quoting a, a famous jurist you know the the answer to so much is the trial and the way the trial is conducted. That's why we have trials, so evidence can be tested, so people can be challenged if they're being evasive. All of that, you know, the truth is not proven by tweets and press releases. It's proved in rooms in there and buildings like that across the country. And honest to God, I thought it was a wonderful day for justice.